Hi guys. Okay, we are back again to um, do some more um, testing of these palettes so we can really see the different colors of Jane's um, palette pastels. And this one right here is called Lit Up. Um, I said you can go to her, Jane Davenport on Facebook and then she, that'll tell you um, where you can get, I think that's what she has it on there, where you can get these charts so that you can swatch all of these pastels. Um, from there, I think she tells you where her blog is at. Yeah, go to her Facebook, find out where her blog is at, or just look up Jane Davenport blog, and it should come up, and then on her blog is where I was able to print these up from, these uh, swatch sheets, which I think are fabulous. And then uh, girls on Facebook are in her Facebook group. If you want, you can go on her Facebook group. It's awesome, and you can post your art there when, when you use her products. Um, <coughs> some girls are... Um, laminating them after they get done, which I think is a fabulous idea. So let's start swatching. And then she has artwork here on the side, which I think is gorgeous. You could totally test out some of the colors on here and totally color this girl out. And that would, you get to kind of like practice using some of her colors. This is the artwork on her palette. Isn't that gorgeous? And this one's called Lit Up. Okay. So I don't have this, um, oops, I don't have this, um, the whole uh, sheet here in focus right now because we're going to move it down once I, um, once we get done up here, we'll move, move the sheet down. So I need to set it up like this so we can get as close as possible. Okay. Okay, and her all of her um, these uh, pastels are very similar to pan pastels that you get at um, uh, like at Blix, which costs like seven dollars per uh, pastel, which is like ridiculous. But they're creamy, you guys. They're beautiful. They're blendable. I think just like those, and um, they're twenty dollars for all of these, but you're getting like thirty six colors, I think. Um, but using a coupon or if they're on sale, like they were on sale last week for 50% off. They might still be half off this week. Um, if not, use a 40%. You're looking at either $10 or $12. So it's a really good, I think, affordable price. And it lasts. This stuff lasts forever. Okay, let's get started. Um, we're going to start with that yellow color there. All right. I need to get a fresh. And she uses eyeshadow applicators. Oh, and she makes all of her products. Doesn't this look like an eyeshadow? Doesn't this look like an eyeshadow palette? That's what she wanted her new um, set of mixed media products to look like, like makeup. So this looks like an eyeshadow palette, right? Isn't it fabulous? Oh my God, so loving it. So she has you applying it with eyeshadow applicators. Now she sells eyeshadow applicators. I want to get hers. I just haven't done it yet. I have these ones I got from Dollar Tree and from another local dollar store, I got these. So they're like a little bit bigger. All right, so let's get started. Let's do this yellow. I have not tested this yellow color at all. And I have a video right before this because I have all four of her uh, her uh, pastel palettes. So, and I'm, and I'm um, doing swatches on all of them. So take a look at that video right below this one. Oh, this is pretty, this orangey color. You know, someday I should get kind of crazy and when I do the eyeshadow on my girls, um, do some of these colors like these yellows and uh, these oranges, oranges, <laughs> like this orange right here. These are colors I would never hardly ever use, but I should. For something different. Very pretty. All right, let's go here. Let's look at this orange. See, look at these. You can you can tell I've never tested any of these oranges out or yellows. But you know what looks really nice together is orange and magenta. So I would love to use orange and magenta um, on eyes for an eyeshadow color. Like, let me show you. There's a magenta right here. I don't know if you guys are seeing it. If I'm on camera for it, I'm dipping into it right now. I'm going to put that or that um, this magenta right next to this orange. See how cool that will look together? 
This would look wild on eyes. It would look really, really cool. And they blend right into each other. Look how cool that would be. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Okay. Um, let me get this color off of here. Okay, let's go to the other orange right next to there. This is pretty. This is like a melon color. This is gorgeous. This could be really pretty on cheeks, on lips. I like that color. And see, that's a color I would never even looked at. But look how pretty that is. It looks very melon. In fact, that color would look great with that magenta too. Okay. Um, now we're into some pinks right here. Let me find a sponge applicator that has pink on it. Also, let me make sure that I'm still in that I'm still in frame. Okay, so we're right here. Yeah, so this will be the last of this section right here, and then I'll move it down. Um, okay, we're on this pink color here. This is a really light, light pink. Oh, this is pretty. It's really, really light. That could be really, really pretty for um, for lips, but it can also be really pretty for um, for cheek color on really light, light skin. Okay, here's another orangey color. Let's see how this looks. That's pretty. It's not even orangey. It looks. It's weird. It looks more orangey than it is. It looks orange, like orange here, but when you get here, it doesn't. It's more melon. It's pretty. Actually, it's more berry, a berry note to it. What does this one look like? Pretty much like that one, but it's a little deeper. Those are gorgeous. This would be great lips, great eyes. I mean, not eyes. Great lips or great cheeks. Again, mix right next to that magenta color, either one of these for um, eyeshadow color. Okay. Let me go back to the sponge here. Make sure you guys are seeing where we're at. Okay. So we're going to go to this color here. It's another pinky color. Very pretty. Another good color for lips or cheeks. Very, very pretty. Another melon color. Really, really like it. I use this color all the time. This is the one that I used up there with that orange. How I said the magenta and the orange could be really pretty together. This is that color. I use it all the time. I use it for I use it for um, lip color. I use it for cheek color. I use it for eyeshadow. I love it. It's really versatile. Okay. Here's another shade of pink. Oh, I gotta move my thing. I gotta move this thing down like here. Let's see what you guys are seeing. Yeah. Move it down a little bit more. Yep, perfect. Okay, so here's another pink. This is a little bit deeper pink. Oh, gorgeous. This would be so pretty for lips and for um for lips and cheeks. And again, these like this pink. And that lighter pink or all three of these pinks could be really pretty and doing pink hair. So you have like different strands of hair using the three different shades of pink. Even this color over here could be really pretty. Here, here, and here. So, okay. I'm so happy I did this. <clears throat> Because if you swatch everything that you buy, 
you'll use it because you'll know what it does. You know the true colors. You know how it works. Um, so it's a way to really make sure you use your products. I love this purple. I use it all the time. It makes you really use your products when you swatch. Because if you don't swatch it, you don't know how it works, right? That's pretty. See, these two could be really pretty on um, some eye color, like eye color for eyeshadow. Very pretty. Okay, now we've got some browns here at the bottom. Make sure you guys are seeing that. Okay. I've used all these browns because um, I love them to shade for darker skin or as a base coat. Like this is a beautiful uh, base coat for the face for dark skin. And then these are great for either the base or for shading. Like you could totally shade for darker skin tones with that on that. Or you can use that as the base and use this for the shading. If you really wanted to make a darker skin tone, this could be a great base for a really dark, skin, nice dark skin tone. And then to shade it, um, go in with pencil to shade, which I think would be great. That's pretty. Let me deepen this up a little bit. There we go. Gorgeous absolutely love this okay so this one was the um lit up palette pastels okay and let me bring this forward and come back a little bit so you can kind of see everything okay how long have we been on here 12 minutes okay oh, yeah, we're good so that's what that looks like and a lot of girls on on jane davenport's facebook group which i'm in and we just all do our artwork and post it and compliment each other and encourage each other. And it's really fun. It's really a positive, awesome place. And give each other ideas. Like someone had an idea of taking these sheets and laminating them once you do this. So I'm going to laminate all my sheets. Super excited about that. Okay, now I want to try to work these at the same time. Okay, so the last one I want to do is one called Mineral Eyes. Okay, these were all mineral, like mineral eyeshadows. That's what they're what they're looking. They look they're meant to look like. But again, they're palette. Pa, they're pastels. They really turn out better on black paper, okay. But then she said, okay, you know how we all like to put highlighter on our face. She said these would be great just to throw on a, as a little bit of a highlighter when you're doing your girls. And I thought, oh, what a cool idea. Or if you're doing anything, like you know, like when we like to use these right here. What are they called? We like to use our stickles. You could use this instead of stickles for a little bit of that glittery, you know, um, glittery type of highlighted effect. Okay. So what I want to do is, and this is her artwork on here. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is her artwork here, which I think is fabulous. So what I want to do is I want to do it on the white paper and at the same time then do it on the black paper. But I want to be able to do it at the same time. So, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. You know what? Let's do this. Let's not even worry about putting it on here. Let's just put it on the black. Then you can see how it comes out truly. And then, you know, it'll be lighter on the white paper. All right. If we have time, I'll see how much time we have. And if we have time, I will... Um, if we have time, I will um, do it on the white paper. But this way, we really get to um, see it. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to start with this one right here. It's a very light, light color. So that's pretty. Just a very pearly color. That could be really pretty putting on top of like cheeks for a highlighter. 
or on top of lips for highlighter. It could be really, really pretty. Um, if you're doing galaxy work on black paper or a black, like, um, uh, a black night sky or like a uh, space, you could use these colors. It'd be awesome to do. Okay. Um, let me wipe that off since it's so light. We'll go into this next color. And I'm not sure I wrote the names here. Um, how do I write the names here? Oh, because it's on the sheet, but I'm not even worrying about the names. I'm just going in the order of it like this. That's really pretty. So that was the, uh, this color. So here's the next one. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. Let's go into this light blue color. Ooh, that's pretty. Make sure you guys are seeing these. And then next is this, ooh, this darker blue is really gorgeous. Ooh, I like that. Look how pretty that is. And I love how they look like mineral eyeshadows. You know mineral eyeshadows, how they have like several colors going through them? It's pretty cool. That's pretty. Okay, let's go for this one. Ooh, gorgeous. It don't matter what I'm doing. I love it. I love all of it. Ooh, gorgeous. Oh, maybe you guys can't see that because I've gone down a little bit further now. Okay, there we go. I just did this color here. This is gorgeous. Are you guys seeing this off on the side? Sorry, you guys weren't seeing which ones I was doing. Okay, this one's this one. Okay. Here's this beautiful purple. Oh, that's gorgeous. So pretty. Okay, I gotta change wands now because I need something really light. That's pretty. This color looks gorgeous. That is gorgeous. I'm getting ready to do um, my collage artwork that I use, and I use uh, paint over the, after I do the collage work, I bring it all together and I do a bunch of painting techniques on it. And I make these little worlds. Well, I'm going to make a steampunk world. So it'll be like, um, it'll be more like outer space and it'll have nebulas and stuff like that. And in the nebulas and in the different little um, worlds and uh, planets, I'm going to use these colors because it'll be black, a black background. So anyway, it'll make more sense, but I'm definitely going to use that in that project, which is coming up. Okay. Let's make sure you guys are seeing this. Let's see. All right, we'll go right there for right now. Okay, so the next color is this one. Hopefully you guys are seeing that because I have this thing in the way. That's pretty. Are you guys seeing that? Yeah, you can just see it. It's right there. In fact, you know what? Let me bring this all the way like this so you can really look at it. That's gorgeous. My um, easel stand thing is kind of in the way right there. That's why it looks weird. Anyway, I have to have it there, so... gorgeous I'll fill this all in because my easel stand is probably might be a little bit in the way of that so let me see what you guys are seeing oh no you guys saw it gorgeous isn't that beautiful that's like a gorgeous bronzy looking color fabulous curious to see what this looks like very pretty um Go to this brown color here. Oh, this is pretty. Again, another bronzy type of color. Very pretty. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, let's see what this really light color here looks like. Very pretty. Again, this is another good highlighting color that if you use like a, um, like this is what she does when she wants to have it just be something really light. Oh, I, oh my God, I haven't been showing you guys. Sorry. There we go. Here's what the last couple of colors looked like. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I just did that. Um, maybe I should do that again. Um, I don't know where I left off at. Okay. I'm trying to think of what color this is. Okay. This color is right here. Okay. No, this color is right here. Oh my God. I'm totally messed up. All right, let me do it like this. I've left off right here with this one. Okay. So that's that color there, which I think is really, really pretty. Then this color is this one here. This color here is right here. And then I think you saw after that. So just want to make sure I didn't keep going. Oh my God. Sorry about that. And then there's this color here, which I think is pretty. Again, these would be really pretty as highlights. And she has some brushes that are great for highlighting. Any fluffy type of brush would be great. But she has some brushes that I bought. Uh, what are they? I'm just looking here. <sighs> Why don't I have her? Oh, here they're right here in front of me. These brushes right here, aren't these gorgeous? These brushes, fabulous. So if you take one of these brushes with like a color like this, see how it just gives a little bit of a highlight over whatever and just gives a little bit of sparkle. That would be gorgeous. And you just use a brush like this. You don't have to use her mermaid brushes, but I would get these if I was you. <laughs> okay, the last color is this dark color here. I don't even know if it's gonna show or not, so we'll see. It's like a gray -y color. Yeah, it doesn't really show. This will show better on the white because it's a really dark color. This would be gorgeous on eyeshadow, I think. Um, if you want like a smoky eye, that could be gorgeous. Okay, let me see how much time I have. Yeah, I don't really have enough time to do these on the, a full thing on the white paper, but let's just do a few swatches. Uh, we won't do the first one because it's just kind of a wider color. Make sure you guys are seeing it. Ooh. Not even lined up. If my camera turns off, you guys, we're just... Um, playing around with the white paper but you truly you got the true color of what everything else was so so if it goes off the camera goes off don't worry about it that's pretty so I'm just showing you what these look like on white paper see how much more subtle they are but these could be really gorgeous um, on lips and things like that even on cheeks even though they're subtle That's really subtle. Let's look at this one. Very pretty. Especially if like you're doing a girl and um, you want, especially on a little bit like lighter skin tone girls, you could, um, this would be really nice to use um, for eyeshadow when you want it not too dark. Very nice. I'm going here as quickly as I can to kind of show you. And let's just bring this up a little bit so then you guys can see that. Here's the purple. 
Okay. And then we will skip, um, we will skip that color right there because it's too light. Um, and we'll go with these ones. These are gorgeous. These will look great on, um, for eyeshadow. Look how pretty that would be for like a nice smoky look. Look at this one. Gorgeous too. Be nice for a nice smoky eyeshadow look. Very, very pretty. Okay. This is a pretty color. That could look really pretty for a nice natural lip. This is a different type of color here. I don't have any ideas for that color whatsoever, but this is gorgeous. Again, another pretty eyeshadow color. Make sure you guys are seeing all that. And then we're going to go down to the bottom. Maybe we will have time before my camera turns off. Okay. Um, and these colors are really light down here, so we won't even swatch those. But let's go to this dark one right here. Gorgeous. Remember I said this would be a real pretty eyeshadow color, real smoky. Absolutely gorgeous. I want to do a, my next girl I want to do. I'm doing a steampunk scene, and my girl's going to be steampunk. I'm using this for the eyeshadow. I might use that and use that, but definitely this for the eyeshadow. It's going to be nice and smoky. So what I used here was the mineral eyeshadow palette. I did it on the white paper. I did it on the black paper, which really shows up really well, but you can also use this on white paper or on your girls or whatever whatever your um whatever kind of project you're doing okay you guys i hope you enjoyed this um get over to michael's like i said if you use a coupon it'll cost you about between 10 and 12 dollars whether you use a 40 or 50 percent off coupon and pick yourself up all of the palette pastels there's four of them is there four one two three four four of them and i would get all four okay you guys that is it if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd love for you to do so you give this video a thumbs up that'd be great any comments or questions leave them below come visit me on facebook and instagram and i'll talk to you guys next video bye